Hello everyone, welcome back to College Review Series by Akash. The NIT that I've brought to you today is very popular among the engineering aspirants for its amazing placements and exposure. I'm talking about MA NIT Bhopal or also known as Manit Bhopal. So if you want to know everything about this college, its campus, courses, placements, fee structure, scholarships and a lot more, then do watch this video till the end. Maulana Azad National Institution of India is one of the leading institutions of national importance in technical education. It was established in the year 1960 as first of the eight regional colleges of India. Manit Bhopal is spread over an area of 650 acres. It has a well-equipped campus consisting of administrative buildings, institutional buildings, workshops, energy center, computer center, library, learning resource center, housing facilities for faculty and staff, hostels for boys and girls, post office, bank, shopping center, dispensary, auditorium, guest house and sports complexes. Manit offers bachelor's, master's and doctoral programs in various domains such as planning, architecture, sciences, engineering, computer applications and management. Bachelor's of Technology, however, is the flagship program here at Manit Bhopal, offering 1,021 seats to its engineering aspirants, which includes courses such as chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, mechanical engineering, and materials and metallurgical engineering. Talking about the fee structure now, see, fee structure at all the NITs is more or less the same. So if you are a general category student with no quota applied, you'll be able to complete your BTEC program in 6 lakh rupees. So here is the consolidated fee structure as given on the official website of Manit Bhopal. Along with this, there are certain fee waivers offered by the government, like 100% tuition fee waiver to all the ST, SC or PWD candidates, full remission of tuition fee for all the general or OBC candidates whose family income is less than 1 lakh rupee per annum, two-third of the remission to all the general or OBC candidate students whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupees per annum. In addition, there are some scholarship schemes offered to all the meritorious students. The scholarships include National Merit Scholarship, National Fellowship for Scheduled Cast and Scheduled Tribe Students, Institute Merit Cum Means Scholarship and Central Sector Scheme of Scholarship for College and University Students are some among many other scholarships. For detailed information on scholarships and its eligibility criteria, do visit the link given in the description. Coming on to eligibility and admission process. As you all know that all the NITs follow same eligibility criteria. So the students seeking admission in one of the BTEC courses need to qualify first of all J main exam. Secondly, pass class 12 board examination with science stream. 75% is the required percentage for general category students and 65 is the required percentage for SC, ST or PWD category students. Further, you need to register for JOSA counseling or CSAP special round. Further, you'll have to verify all your documents and pay the required fee. For foreign students, foreign students get selected through DASA and ICCR schemes. Talking about the placement drive in the year 2023, the average compensation, that is the average package drawn in this year was of 15.6 LPA, whereas the median package stood at 10 LPA and the highest package being 82 lakh per annum. Now, there is a rise of 73% that was witnessed in the average package offered in 2023 as compared to 2022, which was of 9 lakh per annum in the last year. Here is a list of top recruiters during Manit Bhopal placements in the year 2022. Over 200 companies participate in the placement process every year. Now let's move on to cutoff 2023 at Manit Bhopal. As you all know that seats at all the NITs are reserved 50% for home state candidates and remaining 50% for other state candidates. So let's have a look at the Manit Bhopal 2023 cutoff. For civil engineering branch first, the rank for home state candidates stopped at 44,306 and for other state candidates, the closing rank was 43,903. For computer science and engineering branch, the rank for home state candidates stopped at 11,148. On the other hand, for other state candidates, the same closed at 9,370. 
For electrical engineering, the rank closed at 22,711 for home state candidates and for other state candidates, the closing rank was 21,546. Electronics and communication engineering, the home state rank closed at 17,559 and for other state candidates, the same stopped at 15,624. Here is the rank cutoff for all the other branches. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. For information on branch-wise cutoff for different categories, do visit the link given in the description. Now it's time to find out what does the students at Manit Bhopal have to say about the institute. Students review. The students say the teachers are quite helpful, qualified and knowledgeable. The campus is lush green providing several extracurricular activities. 75% attendance is must. The seniors are very helpful. Bikes are also allowed but not for the first year students. Are some of the reviews given by the students themselves. Coming on to Manit Bhopal Fest now. Yes, the NIT supports several extracurricular activities in order to encourage students' talents and hobbies. The NIT conducts quite a few fests annually and the two most popular ones are Techno Search, which is an annual technical festival held during the art semester. Now, this festival provides an opportunity to many hundreds of aspiring engineers to embrace success. MEFIC, which is a cultural festival usually conducted towards the end of March. The fest includes various competitions of various levels like Unplugged, MEFIC Idol, Dance Fiesta and Nukkar Natak. Alright students, along with dynamic campus environment here at Manit Bhopal, the factors such as robust coding culture, infrastructure for research and nurturing atmospheres have been contributing in students' personal and professional growth. Rest the decision is all yours because we have come towards the end of this video. Now it's your turn to let me know which one is your preferred NIT and why. And don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.